And just like that, we're on the road again, going to hit hopefully two thrift stores. Today's a very busy day. I have to be off work no later than 6 p.m. and it's already after noon. I still need to hit the thrifts, work on a video, get my items that are right here to the post office and go to the gym and put in a solid workout. So hopefully we can get that done. And that's not even including the photographing of the item that I need to photograph and then send to my listing guy. Uh, so today's a very busy day. Let's jump into it. Let's see how much we can get done. Hopefully, let's go. This store has discounts on Monday, which is today. Sam Sneed Blue Ridge. Uh, discounts for today is 20% for me. Let's see what we can find. So we may have walked in at the exact right time to be here. $6.98 for these Merrells, new with tags. What are these? Dockers, you know. Can't really see super far down in there. Bob's, three ninety eight. I'll do that. right here. Oh, they want $9.99 for them? Forget that. That's a ripoff. We've got the shack for these. Burning Man. All right, so I wanted to jump in here really quick and show you this pair of Lotto shoes. This brand is Lotto, it's Brazil Select. So as you can see on the comps right here, there's a used pair that sold, uh, and then there's a new pair that sold. This is a new pair, it was at the thrift, uh, it was originally $4.98, they marked it down. I thought it was $3.98, but on the back it actually shows $2.98, and then we got 20% off on that. And the great thing about these is uh, they're unused, they're unworn, they are dirty, like they sat in someone's closet and collected dust for a long time, but these are vintage 90s. These are considered dead stock or old stock. Uh, I'm gonna go with the language used on the sold comps, which is old stock, and to have found a pair with tags, it's still got the the, the paper inside to keep the shoes form, really incredible. Listen guys, real quick, the lesson on this is it's not about uh, always finding these types of things. It's about always being in the thrift. I never would have found these if I had not gotten out and went thrifting. The key is to be in the thrift as much as possible. That's the only way that you're gonna open up yourself to finding these kind of opportunities. All right, let's get back to it. That's pretty awesome. They want $4? Mercury X. Puma Clydes. There's a lot of Puma Clydes that are going like 
really high dollar, but I don't think these are those. So as I was walking around, I remembered that one of my thrifting side missions was to get a toaster. I found this Amazon Basics toaster. It was very clean, no crumbs inside. They wanted $7, I had it tested. Uh, normally this toaster is $22 on Amazon, so I picked it up. All right, just found this field and stream. I don't think it's vintage. Uh, there's no size tag, so I'm gonna have to measure it, but uh, field and stream, heavy, heavy flannel, $7, 28 plus shipping on there. Really happy about that. Also a few interesting things in here, an LL Bean kind of pullover, pull, long sleeve polo. I'm not sure about that. Kind of some weird stuff in here. And then this Nautica shirt that is not vintage, but definitely looks like it is. So 100% linen, I'll check the comps on this. So as I was walking through here, I noticed these, they don't have insoles, but I can replace the insoles on these. The same Nikes as the other pair that I got that are all black, just in white, $5, 20% off. I'll take them. And then those, I might get those. All right, guys, to recap, I got 17 items in that store, including the toaster that I bought for my home. Uh, so we're gonna subtract that. So we're gonna say 16 items. I spent a total of $80 out the door. That's after rounding up for the nonprofit cause, meaning we spent $5 per item out the door. Every one of those is going to at least quadruple, if not better than quadruple in revenue some of those are really high ticket items i am not going to go to a second store today simply because my day is so incredibly packed and i need to move on to the next task so that i can ensure that everything gets done today uh, super successful trip spending 80 bucks thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one Thanks.